Okay, 2020, good luck. That should be green there. Wow, nearly 8,000 games of Rapid for my opponent, and I've done 116. That's a big difference. Okay, goes aggressive early, so I'm going to play G6. You can pretty much pre-move D5 in the Karo if you want, but I'm going to mix it up this game. So let's play Knight up and Knight across. Assuming he pushes, or he doesn't, um, I'll castle then. I might just do it really slow and steady. I'll do this one first and get the bishop out. Okay, so bishop up and will most likely trade. Okay, so queen up is a move. Bishop down, I think I can take. Rook across, that's covered. Queen back, rook down. Trade, um... I'm going to trade first, and then I think queen up is my move. Just hit the pawn, pressure this pawn, try and get the knight into play. Hmm, now maybe here as well. Yeah, that's a very dangerous move. He could do it in any event. So I think I'm going to play c5, just to try and charge this centre structure. I'm going to try and slow it down here because it is a dangerous opening here and it is rapid chess. We've got time. Okay, so let's take that. Now where does this knight want to go? I'm not sure. I want to play this as well at some point. So do I do it now and sack a pawn? Take, take, take. Not sure where the knight goes. So I'm just looking at knight here. Just create a basic threat. I mean, he's always got bishop up. Take rook across, take all back. The rook is crashing through, so it's dangerous. Yeah, he's gone for that immediate push. But can't I take... If I take, he goes here, but I can grab a rook and hit the queen. So I think I should take this first and then maybe grab the pawn. So I'm going to trust my instincts. If bishop here, I think I'll just take the rook. <coughs> now, do I take with an f-pawn? I think that's probably a bit too bold. Yeah, it's too bold to do that, but my knight's going to be permanently weak now. We'll try and bring the rook across. So he's gone for this really, really dangerous line, dangerous opening. Knight up and takes, and we can potentially create a counter attack, give up a piece to open the king. I don't see how I follow it up. I'd need the king up and rook behind. Well, let's just worry about it once my opponent's done their move. Yeah, he's played pawn up, so that puts an end to that knight move, but it might allow knight h5 with a check at some point. Um, I like the look then of just rook across. I think I need to keep this rook here to try and defend the pawn. It's going to get very, very attacking. So rook across, same move like queen down pressures the pawns. But then there's going to be back rank issues, you would feel. So I think I should play rook across with a view to getting forward somewhere, not sure where. But yeah, them bishops could be very dangerous, but knight here could be useful. And he's given me a tempo to get there. Just an idea to simply check here at the right moment. And if the queen goes back, I assume we can just trade. Then I've got to check. It feels like a nice position, actually. I'm going to play a knight there just to hit the queen. Queen back, I think I'm fine to trade, and then I'm a pawn up. If the queen wanders off, then obviously there's a dangerous back rank check potential.
Actually, it's dangerous anyway, isn't it? Clean back. Trade, trade, check. He's going to have to block. Then there's a potential for a check as well. I think I just trade and check. I've got the rook to double up. I've got the pawn push. He's missed the knight check. Yeah, it's just game over. Or it should be game over. I guess amateur games are never actually over. Oh, he does resign, actually. Yeah. He does resign. That's a good win.